Merry Christmas, Roland. Oh my God, what's inside? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to get you a present that you could eat. So you remember that edible Christmas present that you got me? Yeah, why? I really liked it. Well, this time I made DIY edible Christmas decorations. Oh, well, yeah, I was just trying to be nice. I didn't really mean that. Hey guys, it's Julia. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe right here. So, I decided to do another DIY edible Christmas video because you guys really like the last one. But instead of presents, this time it's decorations. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys like DIY edible anything, and let's see if we get this to 40,000 likes. Also, if you didn't already know, I'm holding a Christmas giveaway where I'm giving away one iPhone 7 in any color that you want. All you gotta do is just be subscribed to my channel, and I will be announcing the winner on this date right here. And I actually just got the iPhone 7, and guys, Camera quality is so good, so I'm really excited to be giving it to you. And if you guys are not already following me on Snapchat, make sure you add me because I always Snapchat behind the scenes of my videos. Go follow me on Instagram. Whoa, I just hit myself in the face because I'm about to take some really cool outfit photos. And if you guys want outfit inspiration, follow your girl. All right, now let's go ahead and get into the video. <gasps> but the wrapper's still on it. DIY number one, the candy cane reef. So we're gonna start by taking a plate and then tracing a circle in the middle. And then I'm gonna take some scissors and cut the plate out. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're actually gonna be covering this up with the candy canes. And then I'm gonna take a box cutter and cut out the circle in the middle. Now we're gonna take a candy cane and hot glue it to the circle holder that we just cut out. And then we're gonna take another candy cane and hot glue it right next to it. And then hot glue the previous candy canes tip to the new candy cane. And then we're gonna do this for all the candy canes until it's completely full. Now I'm just going to attach a Christmas ribbon to the reef so we can actually hang this up and it could be a functioning reef. Ta-da! Who needs a kiss under the mistletoe when you could have a tree full of kisses? Now for the Hershey Kissmas tree. How did I literally buy a broken one? Thank God for hot glue, right? Here are the supplies you're gonna need for this one. So I'm gonna start by sorting the Hershey Kisses out so I only have the green ones. You can just do any colors you want, but I decided I wanted my tree to be completely green, so I took only the green ones and glued it all along the cone that I got from Michaels until we got to the top. Then for the star topper, I just glued some red Hershey Kisses together in a star formation and attached it to the top, and that is it. Rachel, look at the snow globe I finally finished making. Doesn't seem like so much of a snow globe. It me. was edible! Number three, the sugar globe. So here's the supplies that you're gonna need. I don't know how they're how this happened. There's a hole in the sugar. All you gotta do is fill up the container with some sugar and then place in some edible Christmas objects. I got these from Target. You could always do a miniature gingerbread house and that's it. Lit M&Ms, perfect for cupcakes or just to put in a bowl. So here's what you need. Now we're gonna take some Mike and Ike's and separate the green ones and then cut them in half. And then we're gonna take some M&Ms and put them in a rainbow. Just kidding, guys. We don't need a rainbow. Julia, there were no M&Ms in the bag. Okay, so with precaution, we're gonna grab a lighter, a Mike and Ike, and a safety pin. This needle's gonna keep my nails from burning off. We're gonna go ahead and stick the pin through the Mike and Ike and then heat it up. Be careful while doing this. You don't wanna burn your finger or your nail. And we're gonna do this till we run out of Mike and Ike's. For presentation purposes, I'm gonna take a green icing and then shape it in a light formation onto a plate and then place the M&M Mike and Ike lights on there so it looks like it's lit. You can't eat these, they're ornaments. Our last one, Orna after dinner mints. So we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 and then here's the supplies that you're gonna need. Also, I hope you guys like the pun as much as I do of this name. Um, okay, so we're gonna spray this cookie sheet, which is parchment paper, with some Pam, take out our cookie cutters, and then place the after dinner mints inside and then put it in the oven for like six to 10 minutes. You just wanna watch it carefully. Then you want to spray some Pam on a toothpick, take them out, and then you wanna make sure that you put a hole in there so that way you can actually hang them up as ornaments. 
and then we're gonna take them out when they're fully dry. Give it an hour or so, and then we're gonna tie a string so you can hang them on the tree, and that is exactly it. Or shall I say, lit. So, did you like the video? Did you? Well, if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And if you're gonna make any of the DIYs, definitely comment down below which one and send me a picture because I would totally love to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you missed my previous video, you can click here on the screen to watch it or the link in the description to follow my social media. So I'll either see you in that video or my next video. Talk to you guys later. Heart! Bye!